Hey friend, and welcome to Perfect Periods, the place where we discuss how to navigate different periods of life while perfecting our actual periods. Wait, that's not the right intro. Let's switch this thing up. Hey friend, and welcome to Happily Hormonal. I'm your host, Barry on Barry. Join me as we take a walk on the wild side of understanding our hormones from puberty to menopause. Yeah, we're about to cover it all. From practical strategies to expert advice and personal experiences, you'll learn how to thrive through each stage of your hormonal life. Whether you're looking to improve your mood, manage those cravings, or just boost your overall vibes, this podcast is designed to help you embrace being happily hormonal. Hello, hello, and welcome to a new era. Listen, friend, I know you're probably thinking, Barry, you have been my go-to period girly for like the last four years. What are you doing? I am doing what they call evolving, and I am so freaking excited for this new era and this new chapter where we as women are going to go on a journey to embracing being hormonal. We are reclaiming what it means to actually be hormonal because for the longest time, we've been sold the narrative that if you're hormonal, you're crazy. And let's be honest, we could be a little bit messy, but at the end of the day, we are more powerful than we are a whole hot mess. So my intention with this podcast is to really speak to all women who are navigating hormonal seasons of their life. And this has been on my heart for a hot minute now. So the fact that I can finally step into this purpose and share it with you and share it in a new light is just bringing me so much joy. Now, I want to share with you a few decisions that really led up to this reintroduction of being happily hormonal. But first, if you're listening to this the day it goes live or anytime before October 8th, I want to invite you to join us in the Clean and Clear Cleanse. This is my 21-day cleanse that's really designed to help you detoxify your body and aid your liver so that your hormones can actually balance, so you can actually reap the benefits of the workouts you're doing, the supplements you're taking, and the clean eating you are doing. So I would run and not walk right on over to the show notes and actually enroll in this cleanse. There's a DIY version, so you can do it by yourself, or you can do the VIP version where you actually get coached by me and get access to a private community. Either way, for the next 21 days, we are going to be cleansing the body. You're going to be learning how to actually do it and why we're doing it, utilizing certain foods. And in addition to that, you know me, I have to make sure everything has a place to live so you will have access to a client portal and of course a guidebook so that you can do the recipes, but more importantly, feel the internal shift and experience the external change. Head on over to betterwithberry.com forward slash hormones and enroll in either your DIY or VIP experience today. Now let's get into the five things that made this evolution possible. So when I started my business back in 2019, I really had no idea what it was going to turn into, but I did what all of the entrepreneurs say to do, what all the business people tell you to do, and that's to choose a niche. And at the time, that really served me. So my niche became periods and PMS. And so I ran with it. And from that point forward, that has been my thing. That is what people have known me for. However, in 2022, I started to notice that I wanted to expand and talk about more than just periods and PMS and how to have a pain-free period and how to have like a flawless flow and all of these things. And so the first thing was just noticing that I was out of alignment. And I think a lot of you got to see me. Like when I look back to how I started 2022, when it comes to like my hair, my style, just my face, my skin, to how I ended 2022. Oh, baby girl, I cut my hair off. I got bangs. Y'all, I was looking at my skin and it just felt so flat. So the fact that, you know, we did an evolution is very telltale by what was going on in my appearance, I suppose. The second thing that happened is me 
like internally knowing that I was expanding, but then externally as a professional, finding myself so frustrated as an entrepreneur. I was like, I feel stagnant in my professional growth. And often when people feel stagnant, that's a sign of comfort or a sign of inaction. Two things that I do not like. Like, yes, we want comfy clothes, right? We want to feel comfy and cozy in our clothes, especially when it's cold. But for me in business, that was a weird thing. I felt almost entirely too comfortable and I knew something needed to shift. So we have one thing being personal misalignment. The second thing being like, I'm too comfortable and I want more in my life. I want to do more in my business. But the third telltale sign was me being like, I am not going to be a period girl for forever. Like when we look at the life cycle of our hormones and our health as women, right? We go from not having a period to having a period to getting pregnant to then not being able, well, not, I don't want to say not being able to, but then we go from pregnancy to perimenopause to menopause. And I knew I wanted to have a business with some longevity that also left a legacy. And a lot of times we hear people talk about legacy, but I don't think we ever think about how that's going to be in relation to us. Whereas for me, like I was like, okay, I have to build something beyond me being the face and me being the period girl. Like my hair is graying at the moment. Okay, it's a little premature. So I've been drinking some Tulsi tea and having some amala powder to like slow that down. Um, But with that being said, I was like, okay, how can I really think about leaving this legacy sooner rather than later? And so again, this took me back to the expansion point, right? So We've got personal misalignment, then we've got professional stagnancy, then we've got like the leaving the legacy thought. The fourth thing that really stood out to me, and this is fairly recent, I would argue, is the upsurgence of like people talking about cycle syncing. It's like 2023 hit and all of a sudden everyone's talking about cycle syncing and like it almost became the new eating disorder for lack of better words, where it's become so restrictive and so just unrealistic for so many people. And I was like, again, I'm feeling professionally stagnant. I'm not liking this, but also this was also reflecting in my sales, in my business. Now, one thing about me, I've never been one to pay a lot of attention to cash flow and like data. I'm not even going to front. Like that's never really been my strength. But when I started looking at the data, I started noticing that the numbers were not coming from talking about cycle syncing and having those coaching programs, but rather targeting hormonal health as a whole. And so I wanted to make a data-driven decision. But the final thing, the fifth and final thing that happened that really just pushed me into this purpose of like expansion was a ton of copyright notices from Meta on Facebook, Instagram, on Pinterest specifically. And I was like, if ever I was being like guided by God to expand and talk about hormonal health as a whole, it would be this. And so I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to get into like a lot of details, but I think if you've been here since the spring, you would know that the term cycle syncing was trademarked. And even though everything I've ever shared about cycle syncing, I've one, given credit to the person who created the practice or at least trademarked the practice. But two, I've always made everything my own, even though I know in my heart of hearts, I've never once copied this person. I took that as a sign of protection and provision. Now, this all started happening in May. And so in June, you all know that I launched the reset, the 21 day cleanse, which was really, really new and different from me. But what I loved about it was the results that you all got in the feedback I received. I don't think I've ever done a program that for me was so simple and received so much 
like encouragement and support, but also got to see like, honestly, the profits of it. I'm not even going to front, like I'm going to speak to you very plainly because we're honest here, right? There were 78 of you who joined that challenge. While in the group, I only saw about, I think it was like 20-ish people got into the private like group chat on Instagram. My sales on my website skyrocketed and I was like, holy crap. Okay. So God's telling me it's okay for me to pivot and he's protecting me. And there's this provision that's being provided to me. Okay, we got to move with the hormone stuff. But it was just so hard to let go of the identity of the period girl, the optimize your flow girl. But I know for this next chapter of myself, this new era of a woman that I'm stepping into, I have to be okay letting this old girl go let it go. Let it go. What's up, Elsa? Like, I have to be okay letting that go. And while I still have a little bit of fear, I'm not going to front, while there's still a little bit of fear there, I also know that strength and courage is going to carry me on into this next season. And having that radical faith is going to transform things for me. So, With that being said, I just wanted to bring you up to speed on why we've shifted from optimize your flow and perfect periods to happily hormonal. And I really believe that this reclamation, I think that's like reclaiming, so reclamation of the word hormonal is going to serve you all just as much as it's going to serve me. And I'm so happy to be able to expand because, you know, in the DMs, a lot of you will ask me questions about like Hashimoto's or breast cancer, or you'll ask me questions about weight loss. And so this expansion just feels right. This evolution feels so aligned and so powerful and so dynamic. And I just know that God's going to use me. And I want to share a quote with you really quick from a book that I'm currently reading. If you didn't know, I'm like a big reader. Like I am through and through a nerd. I have always been a big reader. Half the time you guys will ask me questions and I will have a response for you, not only because of like my certifications, but also because I try to be very well read. But let me share this quote with you. The book is called Business Secrets from the Bible. And honestly, even if you don't own a business, I would recommend that you read this book. And the reason I would recommend it is because it is so interesting to just hear so much wisdom, right? Wisdom comes from a lot of places. But for me, to be introduced to a rabbi and the wisdom from a rabbi, I'm like, oh my gosh, so many things make sense. Like I'm Christian, I'm not Jewish, I am Christian, but that's neither here nor there. He was sharing this example in secret number 22 from Business Secrets of the Bible. And he said, he did not confuse the plan with his purpose. And I think oftentimes like uh, in business, you can get hyper fixated on like a plan that you have for yourself or even in life, you get fixated on the plan, right? Like y'all, I'm not even going to front at 18 years old. I made a life plan. I thought by the time I was 24, I would be married. By the time I was 27, I was going to have two kids. And then by the time I was 30, I was just going to be able to like grow up with my kids. (laughs) little dude I know that's that was cute that's not the plan that God had for me right but the purpose is still within me to be married and have the children and I digress but I think I want to share this quote with you not to confuse the plan with your purpose because often the plan that we have for ourselves is not the purpose that God has for us. Now, we can still operate in our purpose, but the plan, we have to be okay with the plan changing. And it took me a hot minute for me to become comfortable with the new plan. See, my purpose has always been to teach women how to heal and help themselves, and we are doing that. 
but the way in which I go about it has to evolve. It has to change. The plan has to be different because the purpose is greater than what the plan is, right? And so with that being said, I have to be okay with the change because the lesson is that change while it's scary, and I'm not going to lie, like I've had a, a spirit of fear for quite some time with this evolution. I've definitely had a bit of stress because I'm like, okay, I'm not seeing the numbers in my business the way I need to. This is putting stress on my relationship, on my life. Y'all, my hair, my hair. I wouldn't say my hair has fallen out, but it's definitely not growing wildly like I want it to like grow. But that stress and that scare scary feeling, right? It's also carrying the seeds of growth and good fortune in its expansion season. It's like, listen, I know y'all are all up on uh, Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, okay? Like, yes, the sunglasses are ridiculous, but I'm so here for it. It's really encouraged me to just continue to operate out of this space of growth. So with that being said, We're still talking about health and healing, but it's not going to be tailor specific to just like period stuff. I think you guys have known for a while I wanted to expand my wings and here we are in expansion season, baby, and we're happily hormonal. Now, one thing I also want to share with you, um, this is something that's been on my heart for a hot minute and I'm just doing it at this point. After the cleanse closes on October 7th. So right now you can enroll on October 8th is when we get started. At the end of the cleanse, you are going to be invited to join my group coaching program. Now I have done group coaching in the past, but the way that I'm doing group coaching now is going to reflect more of a monthly membership than it's going to feel like group coaching. And that's because I the idea that God is working through me is just, it's for a community. It's not just for one specific person. It's not just for it to passively live in like a course I create one time. It's, it's truly for me to nurture you all and to build with you all. And I just, I can't wait. So I'm going to give you a heads up. The cleanse is starting on October 8th. It is going to end, I believe, on, ooh, let me double check, 21 days from the 8th. What's, I think it's going to end on like the 30th, sorry, the 29th. It'll end on the 29th and that first week in November is when we are going to be starting the group coaching program. So we're basically going to end the cleanse on the 29th. And then from there, we're going to move forward. Uh, There's going to be like a week break and then we're going to start our group coaching program. Now, I will share more details as time uh, goes on, but I just want to give you this heads up because I think a lot of you have been wanting more from me. Um, because y'all stay in my DMs and sometimes I'll be like, girl, if you don't go talk to your doctor. Um, But I'm really excited to be able to pour into you all and just share and teach like, oh my gosh, it's, I feel so free as I'm talking to you about this. Like, man, let me just say this, your gift will make room for you. Whatever it is, it's going to make room for you. So with that being said, welcome to the Happily Hormonal Show. Make sure you are connected with us over on Instagram at Happily Hormonal Show. And I'm going to see you next week. And you'll also have the opportunity to watch a weekly show. <laughs> you'll be able to watch me podcast, which is kind of weird, but I mean, Y'all seem to like it. So it is what it is. As always, I love you. I mean it. And I hope you have an amazing day.